Hello YouTube, this is Moot, and this is our Worm Online Worm Unlimited tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to learn how to make a campfire, how to mine iron ore, how to take raw ore and make them into lumps, and create our first tool. So let's get started. First, we want to learn, uh, we want to find our iron ore vein, which we did here. Okay, you can prospect it in order to inspect it. Um, and it will tell you when your prospecting is higher what quality of the vein is and how much it is. But right now, since our prospecting isn't very high, it just says that you would mine iron ore here. But we know by hovering over it, that's an iron vein. <clears throat> Next, we want to create a campfire. In order to create a campfire, uh, you, you want to create a campfire because you have to take the iron ore that you mine and make them into lumps. So you have to burn them, or rather, you have to heat them up in order to extract the ore out of them. So, uh, let's do it. First, you need to make kindling. Okay, I went ahead and brought a log in. We're going to use our crafting window, and we're going to look at kindling. And there's many different ways to make kindling, uh, but essentially, we're going to use a carving knife and a log. So I'm going to go ahead, I've already dragged my carving knife, but we'll drag the carving knife over into one side of the crafting window, and we'll drag the log into the other side, and you'll see that kindlings are uh, available. So let's go ahead and make one kindling, and you may need more than that, but for this episode we'll just make one kindling. I went ahead whilst mining, I found some source crystal, I forged some cotton, you don't have to worry about that right now. So I created one kindling in order to make a fire. Now remember where we place that flint and steel? Well we placed the flint and steel in our backpack on the first episode, but we're going to use the flint and steel to create a campfire. So you're going to activate it by double clicking the flint and steel, right clicking, right clicking on the kindling, create furnaces campfire and we're going to create a campfire right on this tile here where we're mining now campfires die pretty quickly so we need to add fuel to it if you inspect it or push E for me or you can come down here and examine it will say it will burn for a long time, but that's not necessarily true. So we're going to go ahead and add this fur log to it, okay, by activating the fur log. And then we can go ahead and either click the shortcut to burn, or we can right click and burn. So let's go ahead, we added it. Now, in order to take raw iron, Let's go ahead and mine an iron. It's pretty simple. You're going to highlight the iron ore vein and you're going to click mine. And this action timer is 20 seconds, which I'm not used to. I went ahead and mined some. So when you have three or more piles or three or more items in the same tile, it'll create a pile uh, like it just did here created a pile of iron ore so go ahead and open that pile and then go ahead and open your campfire and you can drag the ore into your campfire it gets rid of the pile and then the ore starts heating up if you examine the ore uh, right click or E which it doesn't give me the examine option that's interesting or if you watch the iron, it will actually start heating up and there's a little symbol. So if I go over to this one that I pre-created, all right, we see that these lumps are already created. I went ahead and mined and they're all glowing from heat. And over here, the little yellow dot is just, it is very warm. So it takes time. I think it takes about 10 minutes in order for one piece of ore to uh, go from raw ore to a glowing lump of ore, um, but that is the nature of the game. Now different qualities uh, from mining, my mining has increased, I can <clears throat> create a max quality of 13. But let's go ahead and create our first tool, and the first tool that you want to create or that you have to create is a small anvil. So I have all these lumps, I'm going to go ahead and use my, my least 
um, quality by I'm going to click, I'm going to hold shift, and I'm going to click the bottom one. I'm going to highlight all these. I'm going to bring them into my inventory. Again, I'm going to double click the top one to activate it. I'm going to highlight the rest, and I want to combine all of these into a larger lump. Some items take more iron to create, so we'll go ahead and uh, highlight and activate and then right click on the one that's not activated that's important and we're gonna combine excellent now here's the here's the other way to do it let's say that you don't want to do all those clickings you can go ahead and drag all of the items all that whole stack of items into your inventory window and you can push the combined uh, shortcut there just like that now the thing about iron ore or any a lot of different items is it has to be glowing from heat and I'll tell you a little indicator there so let's go ahead and create a tool from the low quality ones and we want to look up how to create a small anvil okay I mean we can scroll down to tools and small anvil and it'll tell me I need a mallet and an iron lump. Well, it happens to be that we created the mallet the last episode. So we're gonna drag the mallet into the other window, and there it is. Let's go ahead and create a small anvil. Failed, let's try it again. And you can tell that it's also going to increase my blacksmithing skill, which is really what is going to increase this chance. And there it is, blacksmithing is increased, and I have a small anvil. Now the whole world opens up to us, really. I mean, tons of things that we can create with a small anvil, even if we replace the iron lump. Now look at all these. We can make our nails for our house. We can make locks. We can make a candle bra for lighting. And then we can make all our tools that we're going to need. And the next episode, we're going to create the tools um, because we need tools in order to in, uh, improve items. Uh, and I mean, we can even make a short blade. So anyways, that's a pretty basic tutorial on how to uh, mine ore how to smelt or even take ore from the raw form into lumps. Uh, thanks for watching.